those different colors. Yeah, it looks like a big snowflake forming. Yeah, or really a bunch, cool. bunch of Legos dropped on the floor <laughs> by your kids if you have them. <laughs> that is a great story. Love yeah. it. Yes, yeah, staying in the skies. You know, the 11th annual uh, Flag City Balloon Fest kicked off this morning mm -hmm. at Anne Marie Adams Park in Finley, Ohio. And photographer Chris Potterowski, tough to say, and I had the opportunity to reach out and touch the treetops. Sort of. Dennis Hall and his crew rolled out their hot air balloon perfect calm a little before 8 this morning. We've expanded the festival. Uh, used to be a couple of balloons. We're now up to 35 balloons. This balloon is seven stories tall, 55 feet wide, and about 1,800 square yards of nylon fabric. There's also three miles of thread and a half a mile of reinforced nylon webbing. Oh, and of course, a wicker basket that will act as the cockpit for our journey. It took just a couple tugs on the propane accelerator, and we were up, up, and away. We are going 6.5 mile an hour. We are currently at about 300 feet and climbing. Riding in a hot air balloon is a different aerial experience. The world passes below you slowly. You don't feel the wind at your face because you're moving with the wind, not against it. As we peacefully floated along, I was just amazed by the incredible view and the feel of the ride. I actually, my first flight was with a pilot by the name of Chuck Waltz. He'll be out here this weekend as well. He's not here yet. Um, took a flight with him probably eight, nine years ago out of Howell for the uh, Michigan Challenge. Was addicted ever since. Propane is used to fuel the burners that provide lift for the balloon. Most balloons carry two 15-gallon propane cylinders, but there is no steering wheel anywhere on board. We can't steer these. It's, you know, we're at the mercy of the winds. We were in the air 45 minutes or so when Hall decided on the landing area, which, by the way, wasn't where we took off. So as I'm, I'm approaching in here, I want to be on the far left side because obviously as you drop altitude, you know, they're getting a, you know, a much... What is that? That's uh, north. Uh, much, you know, a push to the north. So we want to be on the south side of that lot coming in. We landed smoothly about five miles from where we took off. It was an amazing morning adventure, one I won't soon forget. 